Hi everyone, this is the Santorini Dave guide to the charming town of Rithymnon Crete. Rithymnon is very similar to, but smaller than the more popular and well-known city of Hanya, which is just an hour away to the west. Both have centuries-old Venetian harbors, anchored by distinct lighthouses, protected by towering forts, and lined with great restaurants and cafes, plus an interior tangle of alleyways that radiate out from the waterfront, forming the old town core of both cities. Yet Rithymnon has its own less refined character and is well worth a visit, either for a few nights or at least as a day trip from Hanya. The pedestrian-only old town is completely closed off to vehicular traffic and is where most international visitors choose to stay. Greek tourists tend to stay nearby in mid-range and less expensive hotels along the beach, where the nightlife and party scene along the waterfront pulse into the early morning hours. The old town is a labyrinth of walkways, filled with historical architecture at every turn. Rithymnon has a renowned food scene and restaurant culture, with excellent places to eat and relax, and the interior walkways are filled with sidewalk cafes and boutiques, great bakeries, and souvenir shops. At one end of town, you'll find the historic Venetian Forteza Castle, which is a great place to spend a few hours exploring. The giant fortress, with territorial views out over the water, has a large mosque, and there are frequent live concerts and events during summer. Now, everything featured in this video is explored in our Crete travel guide, and along with all the other top destinations across Greece, are explained in far greater depth across the pages of our website at SantoriniDave.com. And make sure to subscribe to this channel as we're constantly adding new content that'll help you in planning your visit to Greece. Some of our favorite restaurants here in Rithymnon include the fabulous Avli, at the hotel of the same name, celebrating modern twists on traditional Cretan gastronomy in a gorgeous courtyard. Along the waterfront, Ahinos serves seafood delights on multiple terraces with great views, and the lovely Konosos Tavern is just next door. Away from the waterfront, Lemon Tree is a wonderful restaurant right on the plaza of the Mikrasiaton Square near the Archaeological Museum, and Rocky Baraki, a colorful and homey restaurant serving terrific Cretan-inspired dishes with great service. Two of the best hotels in Rithymnon include Avli Lounge Apartments, beautifully housed inside a 16th century Venetian villa, with 10 unique suites spread across neighboring buildings in the heart of town, and a rooftop jacuzzi from which to enjoy the sunset. And Veneto, an elegant boutique hotel inside a restored 14th century Benedictine monastery, with 12 individual suites and a romantic restaurant set in an impressive 600-year-old courtyard. There are a number of great day trips outside of Rithymnon. Hiking the shady, lush Mili Gorge just outside of town can provide a much-needed respite on hot days. Agreco Farms is famous for the wine and olive oil they produce and has a picture-perfect patio restaurant with views out over their farmland and vineyard. Nearby is the lovable Margaritas Village, well known as the home of traditional Cretan ceramics, where the streets are filled with small shops selling different varieties of pottery. There's also a hilltop monastery here with verdant gardens, making Margarita's village an attractive spot to spend a few nights if you're interested in local Cretan culture. And one of the most important monuments in Crete, the Arcadi Monastery, is a large historical compound that features beautiful gardens, an art gallery, and museum. Of course, the charming harbor town of Hanya, just over an hour's drive to the west, is another great city to visit for an afternoon if you're not planning additional nights there already. Though you can find good beaches just beyond the city center, there are a handful of amazing choices within 90 minutes' drive. Balos and Falasarna beaches are two of the most popular in all of Crete. Falasarna is a more traditional, long, sandy stretch, while Balos is a very unique and remote lagoon. To get to Balos Beach, most visitors opt for the boat trips run by Cretan Daily Cruises, which depart from the port town of Kissimmee. The glorious ride is roughly an hour in each direction, with a four-hour stop at the beach. On Crete's southern coast, there are a series of great beaches that can be enjoyed in a day. To get there, you've got a choice of winding country roads through picturesque mountain landscapes to arrive at the town of Sfakia. From here, there are a handful of groovy beaches along the coastline to enjoy, including sweet water, with fresh water bubbling up right at the water's edge, and a small floating cafe. 
Lutro is a small village with a handful of hotels and restaurants lining the waterfront, and Marmara, which has a terrific restaurant overlooking the bay, and a series of exciting caves that you can swim or paddle over to that are just adjacent to the small beach. To get to these beaches from Svakia, you can rent your own boat or easily ride on one of the water taxis which shuttle passengers along the coastline throughout the day. Most visitors to Rithimnon arrive by ferry or plane to Heraklion, Crete's largest city, though Hanya does have its own smaller airport and ferry port. It's a roughly two-hour drive between Hanya and Heraklion, with Rithimnon right in the middle. Your transportation options to get between these cities include private van service, public bus, and car rental. As always, you can find lots more detailed information about Crete and the rest of Greece's most popular destinations across the pages of our website, SantoriniDave.com. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it with a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channels. We are constantly adding new content that will help you in planning your visit to Greece and beyond. Thanks for watching.